Good day everybody and welcome back to another episode of Stray. There we go. We just have to say we were here and then this is just cute and inverted. <laughs> okay, I'm I why did I do this? Thank you. Okay, so we did the thing. Um, look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked, I've locked the window, but the code to open it is simple. It is... Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar moment. It must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Well, I hope Mr. B12... <laughs> Here's the lock for the window. The code was... It was an H, I think. Oops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. And it was an O or was it a zero? Okay. Mama's at the ball waiting for us. Okay, where was the ball? Furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zalbatar? Zalbatar? Momo. Psst. I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zalbatar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, pfft, we are safe. Pfft, we found a way out. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. <coughs> sewers? Hello? Why? Darn it. We've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zalbator is still alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous spot in the slums. But if Zalbator made it, there must be a way. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Seamus. 
His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerg. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus, he's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the outsiders. In his notebook, book, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Friends. <coughs> Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you... I think I have an idea. Yeah, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find a secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and re-establish communication with the others. What are you doing in here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, this is my papa. Oh wow, I never knew. You. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? I've never seen this room. I can't believe he's managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerg weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed real life test. He went outside the slums and never came back. A robot's news headline. Zerks are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Oh, my 
No, no, I haven't found anything. The Fluxa Blueprint Concept Light Based Handgun Low Priority Visual Appearance Size Disable Emitter High Priority Testing Real Condition Objective 20 Zerg Destroyer Per Second Observation. Cute sound but never friendly. All bacteria of human time eats all kinds of material. Total vision in the dark reacts to intense light. Broken tracker. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used the tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse the camera. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zergs, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the trackers so we can find them. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. You wouldn't happen to have a vending machine in here, would you? We need to get that tracker repaired. Let's show it to some folks in the slums. Maybe they can point us in the right direction. Elliot programming. Yes, can I help you? Uh, can you repair this? <coughs> oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize its model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little widget. May I? 
I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix this tracker. My poncho? Where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks, now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. I just gotta give it an update and one more thing. Voila! There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Ooh! This tree is a scientific model. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. I'm scared now to go in there and give him the thing without finding the last vending machine. I don't know if it's this one. But Look at all this great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should go visit the bottom man. There's something for everyone over there. Mm, yeah, I need to find the last vending machine though. Hmm, <laughs> not very readable, but I can still try. I don't know where the last vending machine is. Because if it is this one. <laughs> Grandma, Grandma made the scarf. Isn't it wonderful? She knits so well. <laughs> Necker plants. Grand adult. You don't need sun to enjoy nature. We came from there. I need to get up again. Uh, there, there, there.
since we've checked basically everywhere. I'm just gonna have one quick look around because that one we got. We can't go all the way up there. I don't think I've talked to that guy yet. He was in jail last time. I could name those lights like real constellation, the big circle, the ball, the ball. No need. No, needs more brainstorming. Hello. What do you want? Uh, I lost my postcard. I don't know. struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus? I found the tracker. Okay. Uh. Where am I supposed to go now? Yes, see. Oh. Did we manage to fix it? Yes, we did. You did it. You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. If you can lead me to a vending machine as well, that would be fantastic.
This must be it. You really left the sound. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Look at all these zerg eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The zergs will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know you're a friend. I'll open the door for you. Okay, before we go in there guys, this is it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one where we go look for Doc. Bye bye!